there's a new tool in town and um, it's pretty cool. I have to show you guys this. So the idea is that you want to make elaborate training plans in order to be successful in hat trick. And a good start advice people often give is make a detailed training plan. How do you do that? How do you do that? We've had a lot of tools, even built in training tools in Hattrick in order to do so. But this tool, HT Cycle, developed by Session using the formulas by Shum, this is something else. All right, let's just have an example here. I know that I want to make my player player. He's a strange guy, but that's his name. All right, let's say I say I have to start out buying this guy and I'll buy him at 17 years of age and three days. And just for the example here, I'll set him to one in Keeper and five in all the regular abilities. It doesn't really matter much because this is just an example. And we'll leave him at three in set pieces. And let's just say we have a solid coach. All right. So now we want to have an idea how he looks and how much he'll cast us and every, every relevant thing. So let's say we'll start out by training this fella in playmaking and we'll train him two seasons that's 32 weeks worth of training and we'll just add another one we'll do some defending i'm not even sure this will make any sense but uh, we'll just add 16 weeks of defending we'll add another season's worth of scoring 16 weeks then we will return to some playmaking we'll do two seasons 32 weeks pretty simple here right now we don't think about stamina this is just pure pure player building we don't want to be competitive with this right now okay so we've added like five years of uh, i've even lost track of this because i just added something but let's just push the train button here and let's see what actually happens oh okay so here we go now we have an idea after uh five almost six years he will be excellent defending will be titanic playmaking he didn't receive any uh, winger or passing and he will be formidable scoring okay that's pretty nice and we can see like the, the different phases of training and details about the training what will actually happen to him during the process and in the end this is the more elaborate thing than what you get elsewhere is the wages right so by this time the specialty wage bonus will be fully come fully uh, implemented in the game so we can actually see that he'll start becoming a little more costly right but we can actually if, if we wanted to we could start getting an idea of the financial implications that our training plan would have if we created all the players and noted all these figures down now a five-year plan isn't all that much but um yeah let's just make another example let's say something a little more realistic perhaps so we would just delete these. We would start with, let's say, two seasons worth of defending. That's pretty popular in a, if we say we're building a midfielder. Let's uh, say then four seasons of playmaking. That would be 64 weeks. Let, then we would add perhaps a season of scoring. And then three seasons of passing. That's 48 weeks. And then another batch of uh, playmaking. Let's just say three seasons and then we could basically do whatever we want above the age of 28 that's when you don't really think about the gains training training wise but uh you just try to be as competitive as possible so that's around the age of 30 let's train him again and let's just have a look at this beast because he would be brilliant defending magical playmaking almost halfway to the next level supernatural passing and formidable scoring yeah we could do that for sure but we just have to have a look see at the wages because he would be almost at a million euros per season if he had a specialty and if he would if he was a foreign and a specialty player look at that salary a million euros and over the course of five years that would amount to like five million euros quite costly but the thing is whenever someone says you should make a detailed training plan this is kind of the tool you would want to do with. Also, the final thing I just want to show real quick is that you can adjust the stamina contribution or the stamina share here nice and easily. And uh, this is probably too early even. Let's say at the age of 25, we would raise this like two each year. Not really, probably like this. And you would get a slightly lower figure of the actual training gained because of the increased stamina share. 
anyway shout out to session and also to shum for making the formulas but this tool man this is where you can get advanced and go into the super detailed planning with your team so uh, yeah it's t cycle i'll be leaving a link to the tool and just in the description of course and uh yeah happy planning